In the racing world, every second counts. And when we're setting up our React projects, we want to make sure we have that same speed. In the web development world, V is like the Tesla of web compilers and tools. And Create React App used to be that, but now it's more so the Volkswagen. And we're going to talk about why that is. What's up 10x devs? Today we're ditching the slow lane and we're stepping on the pedal and we're hitting the gas. We're going straight into how we can also create a React app basically from V. It gives us a template so that way we can start our React projects a little bit ahead and so we don't have to start from scratch. With that also being said, we're going to talk about why we chose V, not just showing how to set up a project with V. With that being said, also stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm going to give you guys a bonus tip that not many people know, but it's good to know, especially as a beginner. So by now, you've probably heard of something called Create React App. If you haven't, it basically does the same thing that V does, but just a little slower. Just imagine you're shifting from a bicycle to a jet. That's kind of what it feels like when you start using V. V allows for a better build system as well because it uses the roll up webpack bundler instead of webpack so basically create react app uses this bundler called webpack and v uses a, something called rollup and they're slightly different but they do the same thing and rollup breaks a lot faster that's why i vouch for v in this category and v is also a lot more flexible it's not only a bundler but it also has a lot of cool features that you could use and if you check out the docs that i'll leave in the description down below you can see what i mean so now that we got that out of the way, why we're using V, we're going to show you how we can start doing V. All right, now that we've got that out of the way on why we're using V and why I vouch for V, I also want to show you guys every step-by-step -step thing that we need to do so we can use V. So first and foremost, if you haven't, if you don't have a coding environment, if you're on Windows and you don't have a coding environment set up, like that means if you don't have WSL, if you don't have a terminal, and you don't have your GitHub, GitHub stuff set up, then please check out this video up here where I show you how to set up a coding environment for Windows. It's very simple. It's a little lengthy, but it's definitely well worth the watch. That way you're set up and you have everything you need for this video. So go over there if you don't have that and then come back and we'll keep on trekking along. But if you have got a coding setup and terminal and everything, then you're good to go. So with that being said, the first thing we want to do is we're going to have to do a sudo. We're going to want to update our packages, right? App get update. And I'll catch you right after this. The reason for the update is so that we get the latest packages. Now that we've done this, we want to run a sudo npm install dash g. I is for install, dash g is for globally, and then v is for the actual package that we're trying to grab. We're going to hit enter and we're going to let that run. I already have it installed, so it's going to go by kind of quick, but it might be a little slower for you. Just wait for it. After that, we're going to go to a project that we want to we'll go to a folder where you'd want your project to be. So mine would be over in my personal projects. And now you're going to run a command called npm create v at latest. And then after the v at latest, keep in mind also after the at sign symbol, you could change this to the specific version of v that you want. Just do at latest for right now. It's going to give you a nice stable version so you don't have to worry about anything. I'm just going to name mine test underscore V and then I'm going to hit enter. So in our scenario, most of the time we're going to work in react. So you could also choose from these other frameworks and libraries, but most of the time react is good. Hit react. And I always choose JavaScript plus SWC. SWC C just stands for speedy web controller. And what that is, is just a speedy web compiler. Sorry. And it just compiles stuff a little bit quicker. So I always choose it. That's what I've been told. Best practices is choose this. So you hit enter and it gives you a list of things that it wants you to do. So the first thing it wants you to do is change directories into the actual folder that it just created. So if you look right now, you can see I have that folder right here. And so if I do a CD test underscore V and I hit enter, I'm now in that folder. And do it now if I do an NPM install or NPM I for short, and let that run it will install all the dependencies that it needs so basically it creates a folder and inside of there you have a source directory which basically encompasses all your source code and your entry files it's things like your index.tsx or your main.js and then it also creates a public directory which has static assets that don't need to really be imported and it can also sometimes encompass depending on the project your index.html 
and then other directories and files you can take a look at are basically like your ESLint, your package JSON, which is why we are doing the install. So when you type this npm install, it looks at the package JSON and it downloads all the necessary dependencies for V. So if we do a code space dot, it will open this up for us and we'll see what we have. So if you see, we have that source directory that encompasses all those main files that I was talking about in your source code. And it has the public one that basically has pictures and stuff. This is just the default things that it comes with. And then as you can see, obviously install node modules has get ignored, a couple other files. And this is our feet config right here. And like I said, links in the description if you want to see all the other cool features that you could do with feet. It's pretty cool and it's pretty nice. You can do like proxies with B as well. I really recommend it. So this is how you set up your React project. And the bonus tip is basically going to be that anytime you're changing your code or anything changes, let's say we want to change this feet react right here. So we go to our source, we go to our app JSX and feet react. We see that it's right here. And maybe we want to say this feet plus fast compiler. And if we control S or save right now, you'll see it will change in real time. Cool little tip to know and bonus as well. All right, 10X devs, we just talked about setting up our React project in Vite. If you learned something or if you liked the video, please leave a like on it. It really helps the algorithm so we can reach more people. And like always, join the Discord in the description down below, helping people break into tech all the time. And we have a community. And you know when you have a community, you grow a lot quicker and you learn things a lot faster because you're not only learning by yourself, but with other people as well. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Kick, where I live stream Monday through Friday. With that being said, please don't forget to subscribe. Please, please subscribe. And it helps more people. So that way we can reach more people. And I also greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys over in this video right here. We're talking about some more coding stuff. And if I forgot anything, please leave it in the comments down below. That way I can reply to it or I can look at it and put it in the next video as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.